The Florida panther is an endangered species that gained federal protection in 1967 and again under the Endangered Species Act in 1973. In the late 1970s and early 80s, the population was believed to only number between 30 to 50 individuals. Since then, the population has rebounded to between 120 to 160 individuals, but continued help is still required for an adequate recovery. Habitat fragmentation and loss has contributed to a slow process of recovery. They now only occur in less than 5% of their historic home range. A lot of people don't realize that the Florida panther used to range all the way to Arkansas in the west and north to Tennessee in South Carolina. But the entire breeding population has now been reduced to south of the Caloosahatchee River. No reproducing females have been seen north of that river since 1973. Panthers require huge home ranges of suitable habitat that is not fragmented and has plenty of prey present in order for them to thrive. Males' average home ranges are 200 to 250 square miles. Zoo Miami's conservation and research staff assists the National Park Service and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission biologists in their research efforts to monitor and learn more about the panther. We are also providing facilities for treatment and rehabilitation of injured or ill panthers. You can help Florida panther recovery yourself by speaking out concerning protecting important habitat and being cautious and alert when driving through areas where panthers occur, especially at night. Collisions with cars is still a major cause of death for panthers. And don't forget that in the state of Florida, you can purchase a Florida panther license plate that directly helps the recovery program.